Hello viewers. Uh, good day to you everyone there. As we sit forward there watching this program. The music arena. I remember myself, so I'm the guys can see the building. I welcome you to this uh, program, the music arena. Today my privilege to be somewhere uh, at the final member ceremony of our art chief Joseph Olufemi Shona Somebody. People call him Dobushu. And sometimes people call him um Batomoli, Batoni, Batoni. The man is a, is a, he has the full knowledge of the fact. The fact the man is endowed with so many things. When we talk about his issue, and the man is so blessed uh, in this country. And today we are um, uh, having the celebration of life of the man called Chief Joseph Shola. We are going to be the chief in Kadatebu uh, and chief in Mushu. Uh, that is most of you know there. Then today we are somewhere in Shagate That is Shagate Group in, in, in Lagos. We are having the final better screening of the man. Um, we have the waking uh, being celebrated by the YMCA, that is the church where the man belongs in St. Paul American Church in Shagate Group. So why don't you come along with me and let's have the group where the event will be taking place somewhere in Shagate Group. In, uh, in this hometown. <laughs> that we who are alive until he comes shall not precede those who have died. For the Lord himself descend from heaven at the word of command. At the sound of the archangels' voice and God's trumpet's voice, those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise. Then those of us who are left alive shall go dead, caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Those which shall always be will be Lord. Comfort one another, therefore, with this verse. This is the word of God. We shall take the next hymn on page 11 of the pamphlet with us. Remember, Levi Iwapele, Bao Long Mene, Kene Mole, Tum Tony, Soto, Oplakuto. Thank you. 
as we remain sitting, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, once again we thank you for a time like this. We thank you for the family of Papa. All of us, we are here to, tonight for this program, Service of Song, organized by the society in our church. We thank you because we made it possible. The Society of Foreign Sea. We thank you because you are our God. We thank you because you stayed with this Father when he was alive. Father, we pray for this family. Amen. That you will never leave them alone. Amen. We will continue to grant their request. Amen. All the children, pray and abroad. You will continue to guide them. Amen. Father, we pray that they will continue to grow you and you grow them. And to every one of us who are here today, Father, we pray that you continue to be with us. That no evil will befall each and every one of us. Your blessing will continue to rise out in our life. Father, we pray that as we are in the month of August, surely you will make it possible for us to know the silver in peace and not in pieces. To take testimonies. Uh, if you are privileged to know about why he was still alive, we want volunteers. And it's going to be in categories. The first, from why members of YMCA, we are going to listen to a member from YMCA. Tell us what you know about Baba, why he was alive. Second person from the neighborhood. People living around Baba, tell us what you know about him, why he was alive. The fourth one from the Church of God. From the Church of God, St. Paul's Anglican Church, Ishagatado. Somebody should also volunteer to tell us what he or she knows about Baba, why he was alive. And the last one is from the children. You want to know about your father, your relationship with him, and what you can say about him while he was alive. Let us clap for daddy, clap for Jesus. Thank you. Praise almighty God. In fact, I don't know where to start. Uh, a member of uh, YMC, St. Paul's Anglican Church, Shagate Do. Basholu Tonade is our member. Um, in fact, he has three names in YMC. Some people call him Basholu. Some call him Bashaye. Some people call him Agbaoye. In fact, somebody, one of our members from the United States who came this afternoon, he said he couldn't come, and he mentioned all those three names. I said, if I'm allowed to give testimony this night, I will mention the three names. I, I know personally when I joined YMCA, in uh, 1988, he was a foundation member. I met him here. Yeah. He was a foundation member of YMCA. He was a foundation member of YMCA. Thereafter, I came very, very close with him. If I want to describe him, I will tell all of you that. Uh, this is a man that has tasted life. He has tasted the good, he has tasted the bad, and he has tasted the ugly. Why I say that is that uh, when I first joined YMCA, he was a little buoyant. But all of a sudden, uh, 
things change for the worse. That is why I praise these members of YMCA. It's, it's a very laudable society. We saw that this man has gone down. He came to one of our meetings and he said, why is he a member? I have gone down. What do I do? I can't feed my family. I don't have money again. One of our members just said that, uh, well, by Monday tomorrow, come to my office. We have a little pickup. I'm giving you that pickup to start your business. That's how he gave it to him and he started his business. Thereafter, it was, the situation was improving. It was improving. There was a time, many of us didn't know that story before. They said there was a time he had a very serious disease which paralyzed him. It paralyzed the two legs, it paralyzed the two arms. And in fact, we all of us saw that picture. He was just looking like a lizard. So at one time, they said the family pronounced him as if he had died. And all of a sudden, the man resuscitated and he picked up and he became stronger and stronger and stronger again. Then, many of us who have uh, spent many time, uh, a long time in uh, St. Paul's, we know that he has been a lay leader. In fact, he's still a lay leader. At a certain time, he had an accident in his uh, hotel at Moshi. That accident took away one of his hands. In fact, when he had that accident, I was coming from Ajakuta by road. So, to do a certain assignment. I came back, immediately I came back, I was to land, I, was, I wanted to eat. When I wanted to eat, one of our members, late uh, Ukushikan, just phoned me. He said, Pastor Ruton, he has an accident, he has lost one hand and so on. And he came to my house. I didn't know it. People are battling with him, all his wives with him, so the wives with him, and so on. That is how he lost one hand. Then uh, people are thinking that this man that has lost one hand, he has fallen into problem. But uh, as God will have it, his business continues to boom. Um, in fact, he's the one who used to tell us that uh, there is ability in disability. Hello, hello. He didn't allow his uh, condition to weigh him down. It was then that he picked up. So, in fact, that attitude to life, he doesn't give up. And that is why he has actually succeeded. In his, uh, in, his, in his work. My members of YMCA will attest to the fact that Pashoru uh, Tonade is uh, highly intelligent. Nigeriana. So, an encyclopedia Nigeriana. In the mode of uh, our of blessed memory, there is no aspect of knowledge that he doesn't know. If you talk of religion, when we are in YMCA meetings, if you want to sing a song, he doesn't need the input. Any input you tell him to stand or any input you want to be dictated, you don't need your input. If it is a, if it is a, a time when we were joking or when we were discussing very serious issues, if he wants to make his own contribution, he will go to spiritual and refer to several passages of the Bible. He will not allow us to open the passages. He will just quote it off edge. 
If uh, why I say is uh, that it's appropriate is that number one, if you, even if you talk of history, he knows about history. He said they are lofty, they are worried people. Like he said in church, they left his agate here in 1872 to go there. You know that for sure. He said in church. Yes. They are from the Shagas there. And that's why those who are the up here, they are from Bangkole in Iboru company. Here. But as I said, you're lucky. Ogufu Lure, who is the direct descendant of Olofi, has only eight. Eight of his children, they are the dangers of really dangers of Lagos. How many of them are really related to them, calling themselves Agufu? He will tell you that uh, there was a time I told him that uh, I have an in-law who is uh, uh, the, was one of the ministers in the First Republic. So I told him, he mentioned this, he said I know him, the car he was using in 1958 in the is WAK 301. That is the type of person he is. He can recollect anything, he can, anything that happens, we tell you that it happens on Thursday at 5 o'clock in 1942. Because they are throwing another land elsewhere. Common 15 shillings remaining to pay for Benjamin, who is the severe in those days in 1922. They say, don't go and pay him. Why should you pay him that 15 shillings? You want to collect 15 pounds for you from to make 30 pounds to survey all the land? What are you going to do with the land? And that's why we lost all that. Time. If you talk of geography, Pastor Rutonade is very, 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 very added in geography. If you mention any place in the north, he will tell you how to get there. He will say, if you take this place, you take this place, and you take this, you get there. There is no part of Nigeria that he doesn't know. That is Basharu Tonade for you. And if you talk of engineering, so if a Beku has any problem, or your my own Beku has a problem, I complain, say, how is it doing? And so if you explain, we tell you this is what is wrong with your Beku. If it is generator, any machine, any engine, he knows about it. And so on and so forth. Any area of knowledge, he has knowledge of it. I want to So he's even very proud of his condition. He doesn't say because of his condition he will be, he will be disgruntled. It is never so. So, Pastor Ruth Tonade, we, all of us actually miss him. He's a very jovial person. So, I could remember when Basharu Tonadi, we are talking of, uh, if anybody mentioned that uh, our church is a St. Paul's Anglican Church, he said, no, 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 it's not Anglican, it's not St. Paul's, he said, it's all no. It's St. Paul's Anglican Church, he said, what that means is that this man is very proud of his environment. His local environment here is very, very proud of it. He doesn't even believe that Ishagate uh, is under his honor. He's so proud that uh, he told us one day that uh, we will soon discover that uh, in future Ishagate will be a state in Lagos. And uh, he's also very popular, I know him around this area. Not only in this area, it's very popular in Moshe. Because at the time, there was a time we were passing through Moshe in this very cool, and so everybody was hitting him there and there. Simply because he's popular. He's a people's man. And uh, finally, I see Basharu Tonati as uh, a good manager of his house, a good manager of his family, a good manager of his home. Yeah, 
I know you have to clap because you know what I mean. He has no problem when he's close with him. He's very, very happy. He knows how to organize his uh, activity. He knows how to organize his house, how to organize his business. There was one joke which I want to share with everybody about, about Tonadi. There was a time he was saying that, uh, he was saying, Pastor, this one, you can't do this thing and so on. We say, what you are saying to me, you people that have, have two hands, you cannot do it. Even come and see me in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, ladies, the police, sir. Uh, uh, YMC of St. Paul's is and their wife we miss Barcelona too much. St. Paul's Agatello, we miss him. The family, we miss him. The family, we miss him. We love him for love, God loves him most. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you. Please let us clap for our very, very well. Yes, we can do better. God bless you. Thank you so much. He was a man of courage. He was a man of courage who will never give up, come what may. He remains steadfast and a church man to the core. He just be spoke to soul, rest in perfect peace. Yes, the next person from the neighborhood. Hallelujah! Amen! Uh, it Ki 
Ilu Aku Pelegi. Please let us rise up as we sing from page 20. Page 20.
Moi, je suis une Je
بن بقى ام بلد حاول Thank you. 